time is of the essence, but it's a little bit flexible. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today we're going to be talking about a brand new action RPG that just hit Steam yesterday. And I can tell you after playing this game hand over heart it is nothing like I've played before. They truly figured out something that is innovative bringing to the action RPG universe. So of course I have to cover it here and the name of this game Iron Danger. I have a feeling a lot of you have not heard of this game before, so that is what we're going to be discussing today. But first, if you're new here, welcome. Here at Action RPG, I stream, I do tech reviews, I cover major gaming news, but the big portion of this channel, all things Action RPG. So if you grew up loving the Diablo series, if you're a fan of top-down isometric hack and slash style games, you are in the right place. So please consider subscribing and supporting smaller channels. All right. Let's get on to the danger. As always, I will share my thoughts. Please feel free to share yours in the comment section below. Here we go. All right, so let's jump right into this. Right now I'm on PC Invasion, and this is an article written by Logan Broadley. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read through a little of the article. I'm gonna tell you about my experience playing the game, and then I'm gonna play the cinematic trailer, or the, the trailer for the game, and the gameplay trailer in 4K for you. So let's jump right in. Iron Danger is an isometric real-time action RPG that slides in and out of turn-based combat with real control abilities. Isometric action RPG. That is what my channel's all about. You probably knew that already. And unlike many film and game titles that attempt to dabble in time manipulation, it does an excellent job. Iron Danger has just launched on Steam, and in celebration of this, you can purchase it for 15% off regular price until April 8th. Ooh, 15%. Very nice. The launch of Iron Danger comes with a new announcement trailer. I will play that later. Spend your time wisely. Iron Danger is set in a war-torn steampunk world of magic and fantasy. It draws a lot of Nordic mythology and feels a lot like magical version of Finland. You'll play as a woman named Kapuna, who is mortally wounded and left for dead when Nether when Netherlanders invade her village. However, a magical crystal, crystal creature saves her life and bestows upon her the ability to turn back time. And so the story begins. Just a great story. Great. Your newfound ability to rewind the clock will let you experiment with a number of strategies as you battle your way across the land. The combat is a unique fusion of real-time and turn-based combat. You'll use your time manipulation ability to dodge attacks or reposition on the battlefield and set up your next attacks in a highly interactive environment. Very true. Iron Danger. Uh, this just talks about the trailer. So, eh, it's kind of a quick article. My impressions of the game. Okay. One, it doesn't even talk about it in the article. You play as two people. There's two of you and you can control both of them in turn-based combat. So it's really interesting, even though this is an action RPG, it plays a lot like a classic role-playing game, kind of like a BG2, where it is turn-based, but what is so different about this game is let's say you screw up and die, you could rewind time up to five seconds, and you could like pick a different area. So for example, if, um, Let's say you're fighting a boss and they're dropping meteors everywhere and you don't time correctly where you're supposed to stand and a meteor hits you. You can rewind the clock one second or two seconds and then move where that's gonna, where the meteor is gonna fall and now you no longer get hit. So you're kind of positioning two different people simultaneously while attacking in turn-based and if you screw up, you can rewind time. Now on top of this, the environment is very interactive and it actually does things. What do I mean by it actually like does things? So in other games it's like you knock down the wall and then like the wall of you know bricks falls on the enemies and they don't even get hurt or it doesn't slow them down, it doesn't do anything. In this game it's not like that. If you hit a bunch of logs and logs are rolling down the hill and hit the enemies, the enemies will die or almost be dead. So what you have to do is, when you're doing the turn-based combat, 
and you're manipulating time and you're positioning two people and you're trying to use the right skills you also have to look around at the environment to see if there's anything you can use to your advantage to win the fight i mean honestly the game is a whole lot of fun um, depending on the popularity of it i might have to make a second video but um yeah i think i'm just gonna leave it there the trailer also explains a lot about the game, so what I'm going to do for you now is play the trailer and the gameplay trailer, and then I'll be back in a minute to wrap up this video. Enjoy! Iron Danger is a tactical RPG with a unique time manipulation mechanic. Explore a world of steampunk fantasy and meet its unique inhabitants inspired by Finnish folklore. Well then, this castle looks pacified to me. You control two heroes who have to work together with precision and foresight, combining unique abilities to conquer their enemies. The core of Iron Danger is its unique time control mechanic. You can rewind time for up to five seconds whenever you want, trying different strategies and combinations of moves until you find the right one for the task at hand. Use the interactive environment to your advantage to succeed against impossible odds. Fight epic boss monsters on the path to fulfill your destiny. Iron Danger combines rich Finnish folklore with steampunk fantasy. Set in a world of lofty fells, primeval forest, and placid lakes, as well as living gods and monsters of steel. The city of Kalevala home of humans who rebelled against the gods and forsook their grace, shines in the middle of this world, surrounded by towns, sea lanes, and woodlands under its protection. From the frozen north, a witch queen leads her army on a quest for vengeance against the lords of Kalevala. Take on the role of Kipuna, a sharp-witted village girl who becomes imbued with an ancient power that grants dominion over time and death. This thing, it's pierced my heart. That cannot be held. But if you never fell, the thread never broke. And there is a way for you to live again. Use your wits to control time as you're drawn into the midst of a war between the city of Kalevala and the armies of Northlanders driven on by their queen, Loki. Master the newfound power in order to use it to protect mankind. Your enemies will surely seek to harness it in the service of total destruction. Iron Danger, you will die, but you will not fail. Looks pretty good, right? So, Couple of things. Right now we're on Steam's website. I just wanted to show you the price of the game. It is 15% off. Don't look at the support bundle. All you would need is the basic. You can get it right now on sale for $29.74. So a couple of things. One, 
this game right now when you're looking at people that have been reviewing it it's been getting no less than eight and a half out of ten but most of the time it's nine to nine and a half out of ten i would score it in the nine column now why do i give it that high of a rating because in the 120 130 videos that i have made on this channel i don't know if i have ever said that i played an isometric action rpg that is truly different i mean truly different there is different play styles there's different builds there's different ways to create your character there's different visual effects and graphics engines but for the most part the games still kind of play the same this game is not like that not at all I mean, this is an isometric action RPG where they really innovated. And I know when you're looking at those trailers, you're probably thinking like the game looks old or the visuals aren't holding up to the test of time. And compared to like a Wolsen or even Path of Exile, that is true. But it isn't as bad as it makes it out to be. Like obviously, you know, these cinematics aren't next generation but the game is super smooth i didn't feel it was buggy at all the visuals the way that they're rendered look pretty good not next generation but they're passable but the game itself as far as like being able to zoom in and looking at the mechanics of it how it's turn-based it's it's a really fun game especially if it's a game where you like to think a lot because you know, this isn't like run in, kill everyone, move on to the next thing. Like, truly, when you're going into these situations, you have to figure out how you are going to attack. So, 30 bucks. It's a good company. They did a great job on the game. It is currently on sale. And for the most part, we're all trapped at home. So, if you want to take a break from Doom, Wolsome, Path of Exile, Delirium, whatever you're playing, COD, you might want to pick up Iron Danger. Probably, probably could have picked a better name. I don't know. But that's really all I got for you guys today. I'm going to keep playing this game, and I think I'm actually going to put out a second video showing me playing it and give you some situations in, in the game. But this is just kind of a precursor because I know a lot of people haven't seen this game, so just kind of wanted to start by getting the word out. But that's all I got today. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate the support. We are still on the road to 1,000 subs. And it looks like I might have to do a giveaway once we get there. And I think I know what it's going to be. So we will see. All right. That's all I got. Thank you all. Aaron, out.